Hello everybody, today I want to show you how you can upload data into your Diffgram project. So with Diffgram you can easily upload any type of image or video, so you can start annotating it right away. Uh, the, the way to import data into your project is that you go into the project menu and then you click uh, the import section. So here you can see uh, we have this import wizard. Uh, the first thing we see here is which data set we want to upload the, the data to. So you can see here I have created tons of data sets and I can just select whatever data set I want or I can create a new one if I want to, to upload data into a new data set. Uh, once this is selected, we have two options. Uh, we can uh, just drag and drop and select images from our computer and I can show you how this works. I can just go ahead and select this image of a baseball player and you'll see it, it will start uploading and then here on the processing status you will see that Diffram will start uh, doing the pre-processing of the image so that it is ready to be annotated right and now if, if I just uh, refresh this you can see now we have the file ID and if I click this file ID uh, you will see it will take me directly into that file and I can just get started and start adding any type of annotations. Once once this loads, you will see here's the image and we can uh, just draw boxes and do whatever we want with the image. Uh, the other option of importing data uh, with, with Diffram, if we go back to this import section, is we can use the connections feature. So, uh, we can set up connections to AWS and Google Cloud Platform so we can inspect our storage buckets. So in this example, I have this AWS connection. And once I click it, I can just go ahead and browse uh, between all my, uh, my AWS buckets. So you can see here, I have this three buckets. I'm going to select this one that's called Test85. And now, once it loads, uh, we'll we'll be able to see all the all the data that's inside the bucket. So here we can see we have two folders and one video folder. Uh, we can just browse and see the contents of each folder, and we can just handpick uh, whatever images or videos we want to select. Uh, so here I just up uh, show the contents of this image folder, and let's say I just want to import this PNG file and this uh, MP4 video. So I just select them and then I hit import to Diffgram. Uh, it will confirm uh, that I'm going to import two items right now. And I just click start importing. And Diffgram will just fetch those images directly from your S3 bucket or from your Google Cloud bucket and import them directly into the system. So you can see here we have the new uh, processing items and once they get uploaded, we'll be able to see them in the interface just as the other image I showed you. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this feature or if you want to know more about Diffgram or if you want any new features, uh, please let us know and I hope you have a great day.